we talked about Anthony defeating Matt McDonough a year ago for Iowa. The fourth member of our team, Quint Kesnick, has more on Matt. Yeah, we start things off at 125 with Iowa's Matt McDonough. He's been here twice. He was actually a champion back in 2010. Last year, his dream was crushed in the finals. There is nobody who can better contrast the difference between victory and defeat than McDonough. Waking up on Sunday morning and know that uh, knowing that you know what what you worked for, you, you, you came short, and uh, it, that feeling, that feeling of uh, you know of loss, you, you remember that that doesn't go away. Just the same as that feeling of uh, accomplishment doesn't go away either. McDonough has experienced the good and the bad. He's been here, done that. Experience may be his biggest edge tonight, Adam. The 2010 national champion, Matt McDonough, last year's runner-up. In the finals for the first time since Brett Metcalf did it three years in a row. It's Matt McDonough in three consecutive national finals. And here is the Penn State Nittany Lion, the true freshman, Nico Megalutis. prior matchup between these two back in January. It was a very tight match. A 3-1 win in overtime for Matt McDonough against Megalutis. Right here, gentlemen. Be in line, kick in, good luck set. J.R. Johnson is our official and we are underway in the 125 pound national championship. Anthony, you wrestled Matt McDonough last year in the finals, what makes him tough? What makes him so tough is his constant, he keeps that pace up. He never stops, he never slows down. So he wears guys out. Oh. In the second or third period, good it seems home, like they're, they're, his conditioning is, it plays a factor then. He wears guys out and he stays strong all the way through. He's also so lengthy, good so home. strong, and so aggressive. He, he's just, he, he's got the total package. Good home. Already, Matt McDonough is an area where he wasn't able to get on Megalutis in the dual mate, and that's finding the angle. Megalutis did a tremendous job of squaring up on him and doing a great job here with his whizzer and not allowing McDonough com to complete the takedown. Good hold, good hold. So McDonough's doing a nice job here of keeping that, that single leg there. He's trying to go up, reach above good to the head, job. lock up that cradle for two points. Megalutis trying to get away from McDonough to the edge of that mat, and he does. That's exactly what Megalutis was able to do last time. You see the scoring breakdown. Obviously, basic scoring, nothing changes, but Tim, this year, a bit of a rule change in terms of stalling and how the points work this year. Of course, the first stall is a warning, and then it's all ones to eternity. There is no two and no disqualification. Warning, and then stall one, 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 and no disqualification. saw McDonough go out fast, find an angle, and almost get the takedown by getting to the uh, other leg. But Megalutis not able to do it. He does a great job of squaring up and not allowing the more lengthy McDonough to get around and get that leg. Center. Anthony, you talk about mat awareness. Megalutis doing a nice job of wrestling at the edge of that mat against McDonough, avoiding giving up points. Megalutis did a great job of that, just keep wrestling. That mat aware is not giving up easy points on the edge of the mat, and that's that's really why both these guys are in the finals, because they wrestle all the way through, through every position, wherever they are on the mat. McDonough wearing the red ankle bands. Megalutis wearing the green ankle bands. See McDonough again, he's he's really the aggressor in this match. He's constantly shooting, constantly keeping that pressure up, and that's what's really worked well for him throughout the tournament. He starts that offense off early, first period, and continues it through to the end of the match. That's something you said was a difference from last year when you wrestled him. 
it was a difference. When I wrestled him last year, I knew that Matt, he, he took a little while to, to get his offense going. But this year, McDonough, he's done a great Still job. On. As soon as that on, first period on. whistle Keep blows, wrestling. he's already on that offense. He's shooting and he's being aggressive. Break, gentlemen. A scoreless first period between McDonough and Megalutis. Brad, two. How about a standing defer? Tournament format, 10 weight classes. We'll have Brad, 10 champions down. crowned tonight. Three periods, three minutes, two minutes, and two Second minutes. Period, gentlemen. Two they are sets, tied at the end now. of those seven minutes. We will Brad. have sudden victory and overtime. In the previous match, both wrestlers were able to get their one. escape. And it was 1-1 at the end of regulation. McDonough does it again here in that second period. Have to start on the bottom and comes away with an escape point against Megalutis. Matt McDonough searching for career win number 100 and his second national title, 35-1 and one this year. Anthony, Megalutis doing such a good job of controlling McDonough's um, elbows there. He's doing a great job of controlling those elbows, and what that does is really it stops McDonough's shots. McDonough has to get clear of those elbows first before he can get his offense going. So Megalutis really trying to slow down the pace of this match and get comfortable with it. It's a lot of pressure wrestling underneath these lights. McDonough's been here a few times before, but this is Megalutis' first time out. You see McDonough trying to grab control of Megalutis' legs, unable to do it there. One minute through the second period, McDonough the lone point on the escape. The offense has been all McDonough as far as the attack. Megalutis doing a great job on defense, but there hasn't been really many shots by Megalutis to Penn State. He's defended very well in this second period. McDonough trying to get a takedown. Still on. Still on. Good patience. Good job. Every part of the wrestler's center. body has to be off that mat, essentially, the circular mat. Great. We'll Action. go back to center. Stop. As you get a look at Cale Sanderson, third year as Penn State head coach. Penn State has already locked up the second team title in as many years under Cale Sanderson. Final 10 seconds of the second period. Move it. Make it work. You're on your feet, gentlemen. Stale made his call to go back to center. Three, two, one. McDonough, the escape point right at the beginning of this second period as Tom Brands, his head coach, looks on. Sixth year as the head coach of Iowa. Three-time national champion, Megalutis on the bottom, gunning for an escape point to tie this match up. You see McDonough right there. He did a great job of stopping the first move of Megalutis. Megalutis tried to explode right off the whistle, but McDonough dropped down to that ankle, preventing him from standing up. Constantly put that pressure forward to keep Megalutis on his hands. Real important segment for McDonough right here is if he can ride Megalutis and get that riding time point, it will be huge. Megalutis facing him, though, getting out just like in their duel meet. There's the escape to tie it up at one. McDonough going for the shot. It's a beautiful shot there by McDonough, right there on the edge of the mat again, trying to circle around to secure that two. Still no points, there it is. The takedown for McDonough to take the lead. A minute four remaining and McDonough has a two point advantage. See McDonough here circling to the edge of the mat, shooting that high crotch single, circling around to try to get the right leg of Megalutis, circling all the way. He decides to let go of the left leg and finish off with a takedown around the other side. And McDonough's not the type of wrestler to just give up an escape point and ride it out. He is very aggressive. And that's, that's the Iowa style. You don't give up any points easily. You're fighting all the way through. You're making that other guy really come back and try to score those points. It's not going to be easy for Megalutis here. And the extra point being scored by McDonough with the riding time, and the fans know it, and they come alive. McDonough, his plan working. The reason is because he was parallel. He didn't come out to the side. He'll take it. He should not change the way he wrestles. Caution awarded to or set. given to McDonough. Relax, gentlemen. Relax. Back off. Set now. Set. Back to ball. 
Magalutis desperate for an escape point right now. McDonough 25 seconds away. Right there, break. Easy. Now, now, top. Megalutis so close, but McDonough refuses to let go. He's got the riding time point as well, so a three-point lead for Matt McDonough. Great Six seconds Matt away. Savvy. Great Matt Savvy. He stayed right on it. He didn't care about the stall. Great job by Matt McDonough. And for the second time, he's won a national title. Let's go over to Quint Kesnick. He's with Matt McDonough. Thanks, sir. Matt, what was the biggest challenge you faced tonight? Too, too Tough opponent. He ain't gonna let up for seven minutes. He didn't let up for seven minutes, but you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta make it happen. A minute and twenty to go, third period. You scored the winning takedown. What happened? Just stayed on my offense. Kept moving. You don't stop wrestling. You don't think about, you know, missed opportunities. You just go for the next. Go for the next. Always moving forward. Contrast the difference between winning this and falling short a year ago. You know, I just asked God for God for help. I did everything I could. You know, I let I let the rest take care of itself. Congratulations! You can go celebrate with your parents, Mike and Sandy. Adam, his father, Mike, a former Iowa wrestler himself, has seen his son win his second national title and pick up career win number 100.